Hey, welcome to day 20 of the 30 day healing series. I cannot believe we are on day 20 already. This is absolutely crazy. The time has flown by. Um, I'm giving you this um, series so that you can implement these bite-sized pieces into your life so that you can heal your trauma no matter which stage of healing that you're in. If you want to see which stage of healing that you're in, go down to the go down to the description below and the quiz will be there. The quiz gives you results and it also gives you resources on how you can move into the next stage of your healing. I'm Angela. I'm a trauma healer. I've been healing my own trauma for about 10 years and I've been helping women heal theirs for about four years. Today we are going to talk about a very sensitive topic and it's usually not discussed with healing trauma which I find really interesting and I find that really interesting because trauma distorts your self-worth, your security, and your safety. And money actually represents safety, security, and worth. So we feel like this is a very um, emotional topic. It's a very sensitive topic. It's also a very taboo topic for women to talk about. I do feel like the shift um, has changed a lot in the last five years. But again, I still feel like this is a neglected topic because we want to dive into healing our trauma and releasing all those wounds. And we still tend to neglect healing our money trauma, just like we tend to neglect to heal the mother wound. So I feel like these two topics are so neglected in the in the world of healing and healing your trauma mm. the thing is is that if you have experienced someone holding money over your head if you've experienced um poverty if you've experienced you know having the power out or not being a able to eat because of money if you've experienced um you know someone having power over you because of money if you've experienced codependent relationships because another person has the money there's a power dynamic then you essentially have money related or you have trauma related to money it is going to be very powerful for you to look at your money and the experiences that you've had around money so that you can heal and release those wounds so that it's no longer controlling you now i know that this is also very specifically important for your work, right? Um, if you are showing up and you have uh, these wounds there, you're not going to allow yourself to receive the way you would if you have taken the time to deeply, deeply heal these wounds. These wounds are established well within your childhood, but they are also generationally passed down. So I want you to think about that it really wasn't that long ago where our great, great, great grandparents were essentially living through the depression. And so that scarcity mindset really kind of went down the generational line. So you want to be aware of this because it really wasn't that long ago that that your parents or your grandparents, ex, you know, down the lineage experienced this and those things get passed down to us. Now there is an unlimited resources available to you so that you can receive. It is very possible for you to break these generational curses of scarcity and poverty. For you to be able to do this, it's going to be very important for you to look at your experiences with money look at the experiences that you had in your childhood around money and it's also going to be very critical for you to look at your beliefs around money especially when it comes to people that have money and if you believe that the uh, money is the root of all evil that's not serving you if you believe that rich people are greedy and don't care about anybody that's not serving you and that's not serving you because that means that you don't want that money because you don't want to be greedy you don't want to be an asshole you don't want to treat people a certain way so you want to really dive deep into your beliefs your experiences that you have around money and your childhood experiences around money that are connected to how 
how you grew up and what you watch directly and indirectly around money. Children actually understand the concept of money by the age of three. So that means that you were picking up the energy, you were picking up the concepts and understanding what was going on by the age of three with your parents and how they handled money. And so of course that imprinting you know, has stayed with you unless you, of course, have healed your money trauma, which I imagine you haven't because you wouldn't be here watching this video. So I actually have a um, healing series around money that you can take. It's a self-paced course. It's absolutely life-changing. I've had clients that took this course and bought a house has changed the way that they've shown up in their work and has allowed them to receive so much more their results have absolutely been incredible so if you want to yes look at your money experiences but you're ready to heal these wounds deeply and completely i will leave the description for you for the money healing series it is absolutely phenomenal and it will change your life around money and it will heal the money trauma that you have in the meantime remember to kind of get an inventory i recommend journaling but get an inventory of your experiences and your beliefs that you've had around money and how this might be impacting you okay i'll see you tomorrow